kind of seen the uh, things floating around with Boston and the topic of racism and the people around me urged that I should share my perspective. Uh, I have not talked to, to anyone, not Kyrie, Marcus or Danny Ainge about my thoughts or my perspective, but I do think it's a good conversation. that racism should be addressed uh, and or uh, systemic racism should be addressed in the city of Boston and it also should be addressed in the United States. However, I do not like the, 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 the manner it was you know, brought up in terms of centering, centering around a playoff game. Um, it bothers me if you know, the construct of racism right, is, you know, uh, use as a crutch or an opportunity to to execute a personal gain. I'm not saying that's the case, but I do think racism right now is bigger than basketball. And I do think racism is bigger than game three of the playoffs. So I want to urge the media to paint that narrative as well. Um, because when it's painted in that manner, it's insensitive to people who are actually dealing with, you know, racism on a daily basis. Um, the constructs and the constraints of systemic racism in, in our school system, inequality in education, um, lack of opportunity, lack of resources, adequate housing, affordable housing, adequate health care, tokenism, and the list goes on. So, you know, I recognize my, my, my privilege as an athlete, um, but uh, once you get to a certain point, nothing that you experience um, over overtakes the experiences that people deal with on a daily basis.